neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor homosexuals shall inherit the kingdom of God. God's given us his word, and to go against that's wrong. 1946 is the first time in any language, in any translation, the word homosexual ends up in the Bible, right? I found that incredibly hard to believe. Who made this decision? Why did they make this decision? How did they make this decision? Here is the famous 1946 RSV New Testament. New Testament. I found that they had left their archives at Yale University. I think we went through 60,000 documents. So I'm reading this for the first time. Oh, oh, this is exactly what we are looking for. This is it. I was wrong, or I think I'm wrong, about what the Bible says. What is in the Bible is a behavior. It's a behavior that heterosexual people can do. Religion and politics get together. There is a religious war going on in this country. It is a cultural war, but this war is for the soul of America. What you're doing is contrary to the Word of God. The authority of the Bible is at stake. How do we undo a lie that is so ingrained in our culture? 